Now let's talk about the use of antibiotics and multivitamins in broiler poultry farm. Now as a broiler poultry farmer, please do not use antibiotics on first day of arrival for bed. Please do not use antibiotics. At that moment, what they need is glucose and multivitamin or coconut water to ease the stress which they have gone through from the heart rate. Now, the first day, what they need is glucose. Just a little of glucose. Now, unless they are done with that glucose, you give them multivitamin. Now, let me walk you through that. Let me walk you through the process of heart rate. From, let me walk you through the process of heart rate before this bed, sorry. Before this bed gets to your farm. Now, we have the levels, the V levels of, um, we have the V level of the heart rate. Now, from the air light, you come down to the great grandparents. From the great grandparents, you come down to the gra grandparents. From the grandparents, you come down to the parent, which is the hatchery, which is where this bed come to you as a broiler protein farmer. Now, from the hatchery, they stay there for 21 days before they have been hatched. Yeah, now, during their period of 21 days, they have been vaccinated against Inova vaccine. Inova vaccine help the egg, help the chick to form very well in the egg. Now, when they are being hatched, through the process of the hatchery, they are being vaccinated against married vaccine. Married vaccine is because of paralysis on their legs. You see them bending to avoid that paralysis on a day old. Now, this bed are being packaged, are being packaged to you to your farm. Now, we've we'll not talked about the transportation, which is the most stressful of all of it. Remember, if you are in Nigeria, if you are based in Nigeria, beds mostly comes in from Ibadan. Now, imagine the distance. Okay, I'm based in Abuja. Imagine the distance from Ibadan and the stress. So, as a brother post farmer, please do not use more antibiotics on day one of your bed arriving in your farm. You are causing more stress to them, and those stress will lead to mortality during brooding. Now, they want what they need is glucose, just a little of glucose in their water. Now, when they are done taking that glucose, you give them multivitamin. Now, we are trying to ease the stress they've gone through from the hatchery transportation to they get to your border to farm, to they get to your farm. Please do not use antibiotics on the one of your on the one when your bed comes to your farm. Do not use antibiotics. Now, let me walk you through down from day 1 to day 10. Now, at day 1, when your best arrive at your farm, you are trying to ease the stress they've gone through from transportation from hatchery, transportation to your farm. Now, on day 1, give them more, more, um, give them glucose, just a little water of glucose. Then immediately they are done with that glucose, you give them more vitamin. Now, on the day 2, you give them antibiotics. Antibiotics, why we are giving them antibiotics? We are already giving them multivitamin. Multivitamin will help to ease the antibiotics you are giving them on a day two. Now, the antibiotics is being given to them so that they will kill all the bacteria and fungi they've contacted either from the hatchery or through transportation. Antibiotics is a very stressful medicine. Now, giving antibiotics, but anti giving your bed antibiotics on day one might cause mortality during brooding. Now, on the day two, you give them antibiotics. On the day three, you give them antibiotics. On the day four, you give them antibiotics. On the day five, you give them antibiotics. On the day six, you give them antibiotics. You see, you are giving them that's the last antibiotics you'll be giving your bed. Or lost they fall ill. That's the last antibiotics you'll be giving your bed. I say, brother, put it for me. That's the last from day two to day six. That's the last antibiotics that you give. Because continuously giving antibiotics to your bed will cause stress on them. Now, on the day seven, you give them anticoagulants. On the day 8, you give them anticoagulants. On the day 9, you give them multivitamin. Now, giving them a uh, multivitamin on the day 9, because of the vaccine we'll be giving them on the day 10, which is Gomoro vaccine. So, we are vaccinating these guys on the day 10. And immediately you are done vaccinating them, we are giving them multivitamin. So, multivitamin goes a long way. Now, what is the importance of multivitamin in broiler chicken? Multivitamin helps to ease stress on broilers. It boosts their feeding behavior and it boosts their immune system. Please do not give antibiotics to your bed on day one of arriving your farm. Okay, so I'll walk you through that from day one to day ten. So please, more antibiotics is a very stressful medicine. Do not give them antibiotics on day one of your pro or before they come to your farm. Do not give them antibiotics. If you give them antibiotics, you're causing stress, and stress on the OG might will cause mortality, not might be cost mortality on them so please this is very important i've seen a lot of protein farmers giving their old chick antibiotics on day one it's not good please not good stop it please stop it okay so i share that's your favorite protein farmer 
God bold, Kelly to Kepka. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do well and can subscribe. Look at my babies. My guys are enjoying themselves, okay? So let's just walk you through. Little babies. My babies, my babies. So these guys are doing wonderful. We've not had any mortality from day one till date. We've not had any mortality. Today is like day 17, there by day 17. I will not have any mortality. I'm already weighing 700 and something grams. We weighed them yesterday. So, guys, shame and that's your favorite project for my. If you do not subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do me like that subscribe. Please do not give antibiotics to your day old chick on arrival. Please, antibiotics is the best stressful medicine. Okay, thank you so much.